Adam from Shadow Alley Productions would like to know what is the greatest 80s horror movie of all time. Did you do the music for a short movie of his? Yeah. You ever pay you for that? No. Cheap prick. Well, here we are again, contributing to your channel, increasing your views for your channel, all for you. What we think is the greatest horror movie of the 80s. We're here at Outpost 31, and it's gotta be 1982's The Thing. The music. Ennio Morricone did the soundtrack for this. Oddly enough, Carpenter only kept the main title theme. Ennio Morricone's best John Carpenter impression. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but oddly enough, Morricone won an award for the rest of the soundtrack for The Hateful Eight years later. The setting for this movie is fantastic. You're in the Arctic, holed up in this little outpost. If you go out into the cold, you're gonna die. If you stay in the outpost with the alien, you're gonna die. <laughs> exactly. Carpenter also gets bouts of skin cancer from the filming locations too, still to this day. The effects in this movie, top notch. There's so many iconic effects. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly what you're talking about when you do that. <laughs> Practical effects for 1982, that's all they had, right? And they're the best. They're the best of the day, and they still hold up to this day. The plot for this movie is fantastic. Can you get any better than a small group of people in the Antarctic discovering a UFO and having a shape-shifting alien change to any form it wants to kill you. And it's based on that short story, Who Goes There, which is actually done from the perspective of the alien. The acting, again, is top notch. You got Kurt Russell in there. Wilford Brimley is in there. <laughs> yeah. Not talking about diabetes. <laughs> or uh, Quaker Oats. Or right? Quaker Oats. <laughs> They're all good and all believable. The directing, come on, John Carpenter. Now, how can you beat that? You don't need to say any more than those two words. Another hallmark of this movie is the ending. That cliffhanger, ambiguous ending. One of them has to be the thing. What? They're not sure who it is. You don't know though, maybe they're both not. They're both, who knows? You don't know, and that's no. the best part about this ending, and it's debated until this day. And that brings us to the legacy of this movie. It's still being debated, not just the ending, but pretty much the whole movie. How did Fuchs die? What yep. happened? What happened there? When is when is the thing a person and when is the thing a thing and it's like... And how does he get yeah. to each of the humans, yeah. right? Yeah. It's still being debated to this day and it's got to count for something. Yeah. And it lives on in comic books and even that shit-ass prequel. Ugh. That's why... The Thing is the best 80s horror movie of all time. And it will continue to be the greatest of all time. Because the 80s are over. <laughs> and no more movies are being made. <laughs> and the 80s are the best. Yep. And until next time, keep drinking. <laughs>